Hello everyone and welcome to Databyte Services Live Tech Support Show. Today we're going to talk about uTorrent and how to use it. Well first off you want to go ahead and download uTorrent. And the way to do this you want to open your Internet Explorer. You want to go ahead and go to uTorrent.com. That's uTorrent.com. It's U-T-O-R-R-E-N-T.com. This page will pop up and shows uTorrent. Go ahead and click on Get uTorrent. Click Run or Start or Save. Click Run again. You want to go ahead and click Next. Here you have some options to go and install uTorrent, which is what we want to do. Create Start Menu. You can do that. You can create Launch Icon. You can do that. This one of your choices. I usually just create a Start Menu Entry. Click Next. Here you want to make sure you uncheck all this because this will install third-party software which you do not want such as toolbars and things like that that can cause viruses so take that off click install once you click install you want to exit out of all your Internet Explorer bars here you'll see there's a uTorrent button here or you go to click start all programs and there's uTorrent up on that uh, start menu Click uTorrent. Alright, as you see here, I was trying to download a file. We're going to take that file off. Remove. Now, the way to use this, you're not going to really be able to search anything from here, which is not very user friendly. So, what you want to do is you want to open your Internet Explorer again. There are certain uTorrent sites that are out there that you can use, like the piratebay.org, uh, and there's a safe torrent search that I use. We're going to go to that. And that site is right here. It's called vtor.com, V-E-T-O-R.com. And I'm sorry, it's V-E-R-T-E-V-E-R-T-O-R.com, V-E-R-T-O-R.com. I'll put it in the link so I won't mess it up. And this site comes up. Let's say you're searching for Windows XP. You want to download Windows XP Service Pack 3. Hit enter after you search it in. Here's all your torrents that pop up. And what to look for on this is you want to look for how many seeds you have, how big the file is, because if the file is real small, you'll know it's a virus. It's say kilobytes. Kilobytes you can tell is a virus. Well we got megabytes here, a bunch of megabytes. We see Windows XP Home Edition Service Pack 3, 32-bit. Uh, uh, and some of them you'll have notes that'll say infected. You don't want to download those. Let's see here, we have Windows XP Pro, Service Pack 3, PTBR, which could be safe, 627 megabytes, which is about the file of Windows XP, and there's 35 seeds, and seeds are what you want to look for because seeds are the people that are actually downloading and uploading these files. That's how many you have. You want to click on it, and we're going to download the torrent. Now this is not going to take but two seconds. You download that, click download torrent. Click on save, save it to where you want to save it to, and you see it says it saves it as the file name of the torrent. Click save. Like I said, it takes about two seconds or less. You want to click open, and your computer's not going to recognize it, so you're going to say select program from list. Click OK, and your computer may automatically have you torrent. If it doesn't, you want to go to browse. And then program files, it's going to be C drive, program files, and it's going to be uTorrent. So you're going to look for uTorrent, and there's uTorrent right there. Double click the folder, double click the software, and you want to click always use selected program to open this kind of file. Click OK. And as you see here, it brings up uTorrent, and it says Windows XP uh, Pro Source Pack 3.iso which is very good. You want to make sure you download ISOs because ISOs are usually automatically bootable and things like that. So you click OK. As you see it comes up in the uh, window here. Your availability is what you want to look for. Your availability looks pretty good on Windows XP Pro Service Pack 3. However, your seeds are still a little low. What you want to do to make sure you download the, the you know, at your full capacity is you want to right click on this uh, file name here. Go to bandwidth allocation, click on high. 
and it may take some time, but you will get your uh, seeds going and your down speed going up a little higher. So you will definitely be able to download software. Now, generally, where the where did the files go? The files usually go to start, my documents, and downloads. This is where the files go when they're complete. So if you have any questions, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And uh, as you see there, there goes the speed if we're jumping up. So if you have any questions, please feel free to email me at databytes at yahoo.com or directly on the YouTube channel. And don't forget to visit the site at databytesservices.com. Thank you for watching and have a great day.